Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to go over an incredibly strong, epic, and legendary loot farm in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. And this is actually going to be farming a chest mimics in a special mimic encounter. Now, you come across these early on in the main campaign, so they just show you them, but essentially, mimics disguise themselves as chests, and when you try to open the chest, the mimics pop out, and they usually give a lot more loot than normal enemies. They're supposed to be a different version of a loot goblin and there's a way you can pretty consistently farm these and keep going into this mimic level so how this works is in the overworld any of the chests you open have a chance to be a hidden mimic and then if you walk into that mimic it will take you into a random encounter where there's only mimics in there and you get to kill a few of these mimics loot them and then that's the end of that level and the loot from these mimics still take into account count additional stats such as your loot luck and what chaos level you're on. So if you're on chaos level 20, these mimics can give you volatile gear and these mimics will drop a ton of items. From my experience, you on average get two legendaries every time you go and clear one of these mimic levels and then you will usually get two or more epics from every single one of the mimics you kill, which in Wonderlands, a lot of epics are actually the best items in the game. Epics are much stronger than most other Borderlands games. Games, then you're also going to get a decent chunk of currency so you get a bunch of gold from these and then you'll get a decent chunk of moon orbs and it also seems that these mimics will give you a lot of cosmetic items because a lot of these mimics i'm killing will drop sometimes two to three cosmetic pieces from killing every single one so if you haven't gotten a lot of cosmetics or maybe there's some specific ones you're looking for this could be a decent way to get those i have a lot of cosmetics already and i've still gotten a couple i don't have just from doing a little bit of this farm now the best place to go about farming this is going to be right when you get out of a snoring valley and that's where you start the game. So the first time you step foot into the overworld is where you're going to go to farm up these chests. Because right in a small area outside of Snoring Valley, there are five chests you can open up. And it's a really quick path to open these five chests. And then when you want to reset the chest, all you're going to do is go back to the Snoring Valley portal, go back into Snoring Valley, then go back out into the overworld, and all five of these chests will be reset. So you just keep opening these five chests, teleporting out, teleporting back in. And that's all you have to do for this farm. It takes less than 30 seconds to do one of these runs, so you're going to be coming across a lot of mimics that take you into the mimic level. Now, not only does this specific spot give you a good amount of chests in a small area, but it also seems like this spot has a higher chance to spawn mimics. Because I've gone through the entirety of the overworld map a bunch of times, pretty much looting all the chests, and it's pretty rare to get a mimic in most of the overworld. But going to this starting spot, from my experience and my testing, it seems like you get a lot more mimics here. Now, my theory behind this is that this is the first spot you go into when entering the overworld. So it's a very low level spot, the first spot you go to. So I'm thinking that they increase the chance to get mimics out of these chests so they can introduce you to this chance of getting this mimic chest a lot earlier on. That's just my theory. It's going to require more testing besides one person testing, but I have done quite a lot of farming for this, farming all over the overworld, and I get a lot more mimics at this starting spot. But that's pretty much the entirety of this farm. Now this farm is is really good on its own right. Not sure how it stacks up to doing Chaos Level 20 full Chaos Chamber runs with all the curses, but this is still a good farm and it gives you another farm to do besides just running Chaos Chamber runs, which can get boring sometimes and you want to switch it up and do something different that still is efficient, but is also something new and fresh. So this is definitely something I'd recommend doing if you want to change up your farming a little bit, but still have an efficient farm. But that's pretty much all I want to go over. So subscribe if you want to see more wonderful lands or other videos leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys think about this mimic farm and thanks for watching